Uh, I tried to get away, but they stopped me. How did they stop you? They shoved me around. They, like, they tossed me from one to another, like a, a basketball or something. So you were unable to get away from them? I did get away from them at, at, one, at one point for a second. What did you do? I tried to get out. But you were unable to do so. I, um... Uh, Todd got to the door before me and he wouldn't let me out. And what happened next? He... Manning? Yes, he... he, uh... Man, oh, he just became completely different. Different how? Angry. He was very angry. One, he was, um... fooling around. Just playing around, and then the next... out from under me and he fell on top of me. Okay, Miss Seabrook, now I want you to just take your time and tell us, as you recall, what happened. Todd, Todd, Todd told Zach to, to lock the door. And did Zach Rosen lock the door? No. I asked him not to, and uh, he said, fine. I won't. Then he asked Powell to lock it. Then did Powell Lord lock the door? Yes, he did. And then what happened? Todd took my, uh, my wrist and one of his. One of his hands, he just held him up, pulled him up over my head. And uh, held him out, you know, pinned me down with one hand. I thought that if I moved, I was going to dislocate my shoulders. What did he do next? You mean? Yes. Miss Saybrook, I, I need the specific details. Kicked my legs open with his knee. Did you try to resist this? <laughs> yes. Oh, but he pulled my arms up tighter over my head. I remember my arms hitting the headboard. And then he leaned and he put his other hand across my neck. Put a neck right across my neck. I thought he was going to crush my windpipe, you know, like, turn to the side. But I, I can just feel my head pounding. He's gonna kill me. Me. So you, you were immobilized. <sighs> he. Yes, he had my. He had his knees on my thighs. He had my. <sighs> arms 
pinned over my head and his forearm across my throat. I couldn't move. He took his arm off my throat. Pulled off my underpants. And? Seabrook, would you please tell the court what happened after Todd Manning brutally raped you? Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is offering up his opinion. Your Honor, the witness's testimony has just described extreme brutality. Now, perhaps my esteemed colleague needs to have her memory refreshed. Maybe now that she's heard how these bruises were sustained, she needs to take another look at these pictures. Objection is sustained. And Mr. Gannon, the dramatics, please, to a minimum. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Abrook, would you please tell us what happened after Todd Manning raped you? He held my wrist down, and he, uh, he said to the others, who's next? And what happened then? Zach got on top of me. I couldn't believe this whole thing. I couldn't... I couldn't fight, so I just tried harder to scream. Scream harder than I did the last time. And what happened then? Zach stuffed a sweatband in my mouth. Did you try to resist this? Yes. My mouth was dry, and I, I tried to resist, but Zach couldn't really breathe. And then? Zach raped me. What happened after that? Todd said it was time for Powell to take a turn. And did Powell take a turn? Yes, he did. He raped you. He raped me. Just like the others. Ms. Saybrook, I know this has been a long, painful afternoon of questioning. But would you please Tell us what happened next. They stood around. They... Like they'd won a football game or something. They were drinking beer and laughing at me. And did you try to leave at that point? No. Why not? In so much pain, I could barely move. I was in shock. I didn't want them to do anything. I just didn't want them to do anything else to me. And, and I guess after a while I just passed. 